No, I actually unironically despise the the Snyder Cut. I had such a fucking headache. I hated every goddamn minute. I am so, so fucking sick and tired of edgy emo DCEU. I'm not asking for Marvel banter every five minutes. I'm asking for everyone to stop acting like a goddamn Xanax factory. Holy fucking shit. Can Hack Snyder just get kicked out of Hollywood already? No. Magic is chaos? Bullshit. Plays like this kind of sci fi. Zack Snyder's already kind of looked down on Hollywood. They only gave him his cut because AT&T told WB they had to. Yeah. Everyone, stuck, everyone sucks Zack's dick just on principle. Right. Like, as much as people want to shit on the EFAT guys for being contrarians, Mahler had a really good point when he was talking about the, the Snyder cut. Joss Whedon was called in to fix a movie that was so bad, they literally had to fuck over the director when he wasn't there. And all the stuff Joss Whedon added was specifically trying to make characters more likable and give them relationships. Like, when you really break down the original version of, of Justice League, the Joss Whedon cut, Joss got fucked really bad. Because everyone blames him and everyone hates him because he was the creepy sex weirdo that was like a genuine piece of shit. Meanwhile, Zack Snyder gets to coast off being a victim on multiple fronts and everyone forgets how shit his movies are. Mm. People try to counter with these movies are trash argument with the we just want to want something to unwind and not think but there's plenty of good stuff out there that's mindless. Well, that's the thing. If you want something that's mindless and just fun, stop doing stop doing it to shit I genuinely give a shit about. Like, it's one thing just to watch some bad USA drama that no one cares about and won't be remembered in three seasons. It's another to steal the name of something to do that. It You know, it, it's one thing to have a show that's not related to anything, completely original, some, someone's own concept, and it's just fun to watch and you don't think about. It's another to quite literally use a property and just sell the name to the lowest common denominator. Joss Whedon's version still sucks more. No, I actually unironically despise the, the Snyder Cut. I had such a fucking headache. I hated every goddamn minute. I am so, so fucking sick and tired of edgy emo DCEU. I'm not asking for Marvel banter every five minutes. I'm asking for everyone to stop acting like a goddamn Xanax factory. Holy fucking shit. I am so tired of tired god Superman. I'm so goddamn tired of melodrama lore that goes nowhere and no one gives a shit about because that's not the point of the fucking movie. Like, oh my god, I hate the fucking Snyder Cut. Your fucking daughter died for a reason, Zach. I'm sorry, what? Still a majority of the same fucking movie, though. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Justice League is way more cringe. I can't even blame Justice League because it was trying to fix a movie that was so bad, they were freaking the fuck out. Like, on Iraq, I despise Zack Snyder. I fucking hate him. I wish you'd put the Jesus imagery down for five seconds. Literally. Put the goddamn Jesus imagery down. Superman is supposed to be an everyman. He's not supposed to be Jesus, he's supposed to be the everyman. I don't let, I don't agree with you on that, but I wish you'd put the fucking Jesus imagery down. It's annoying. Like, they can do the whole, well, he's ultra-powerful, he can literally protect the world, but... Jesus Christ, let him act like a goddamn dude for once. Yeah. Bring back Reeves. Well, Reeves can't do it. <laughs> Bring back Reeves. <laughs> Just attach some, uh, some puppet strings on him, he's good. I, I enjoyed the snark up, but I can understand why you just like it. I fucking hated it. I hated it. I hated everyone sucking its dick. Everything about it pissed me off. Keanu Reeves was Keanu Recess Superman? No, Christopher Reeves. Yeah, Christopher Reeves. <laughs> That's really harsh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. Let's not bring his daughter into it. Uh, it's, it I admit it's petty, but... She's not uh, here. You're not hurting anybody. Yeah. But it's like, oh my god. The way everyone simped for Zack so hard, only for him to literally turn around 
and call everybody a fucking retard for supporting him. That, I, everyone was so excited, they got him on that live stream. We got to the Snyder Cut, Zach. We got to the Snyder Cut. He called everybody in that call a racist. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> he understands how to make it in Hollywood. Snyder's Dawn of the Dead remake was alright. And guess who wrote that? That was James Gunn. At least the air cut. Like, does anyone even remember the fucking movie he did where it was the, the girls that would do the dance routines? God, what was the name of it? Sucker Punch. Does anyone no, even yeah. remember that piece of shit? I try to forget it actively. He also fucked people over who helped raise money for his cause and accused them of being a hate group. Literally. Mm -hmm. This dude's a piece of shit. But everyone sucked his dick because they feel bad for him because he got fucked over for his, by the studio. Which was legitimately a fucked up thing to happen. But you also have to understand the position they were put in. Every single time they would try to make bank off the new DCEU movie, he fucked it up. Mm -hmm. Man of Steel flopped because nobody liked it and it was fucking stupid. One movie from Snyder I liked was Watchmen and Dawn of the Dead outside of that. It was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call him out on his Eddie shit and bring up his daughter ten seconds later. I'm not in charge of a million dollar Hollywood franchise. I didn't decide that his daughter needed to die. Yeah. I don't really get the love for him either. It's a complete cult of personality. It's People like him because Watchmen, Dawn of the Dead, and uh, 300. Man's got one good movie. Yeah. Wait, why did he call them racist? Because at that time, they had that complete AstroTurf stop Asian hate thing. Mm. So he literally joined a call with a bunch of people that quite literally rallied to donate money and show people they really wanted the Snyder Cut. And the first thing he said, first thing he said, was he disavowed racism and hate. And everyone went dead fucking quiet. Because they knew he was talking about them. <laughs> they weren't even racist. They just knew he was talking about them. He literally stabbed hey, all those people in the back. Beautiful watch for five dollars. Uh, hated his Watchmen movie mostly because I hate the original comic. Yeah, can't really blame you there. Sucker Punch was a so bad as good type movie. I don't even agree there. I fucking hated that shit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm, long. I remember my friend tagging me to Sucker Punch time, saying one bit of it because it's it's this thing where it was all metaphorical, but the fact it was metaphorical was literally front and center, so it didn't make any goddamn sense. Right. It's like, if you're going to do a metaphorical thing of they do the dances, why make it so obvious? Physical, uh, physical metaphorical, though. They they literally, one of the dance routines was we have to go find the bomb called Kitchen Knife. And they were just trying to find a fucking kitchen knife. Like, oh my god. I'm not in charge of a multi-million dollar movie franchise. The Almighty Lolly lead writer and producer of the generational classic film 9-11 starring Nick Cage. Yeah, there you go.